Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to create templates within Visual Studio. Within Visual Studio you can actually create two types of templates. There, you can create a project template as well as a class template. And Visual Studio by default has many of these, but they're all generic and relatively common. And I've found myself over the years creating the same type of classes in particular, even the same type of project setups or project layouts over and over again. So I've turned to actually creating templates as a way to save time and energy. One of the templates that I like to create over and over again or used to create over and over again was a testing file. So I decided to make a template out and that's the first thing we're going to do today. So let's go ahead and do add class because I need to create something that my, I will base my template off of. So I'll call this my test template. And what's really annoying when you're doing unit testing is you always have to go in and do something like public and test fixture you know, and go ahead and make it reference the, the testing framework. So I got got pretty tired and pretty lazy, so I thought, let's go ahead and create a template of it. So let's actually set this test, test class up the way we want. We'll do public void some test. And maybe I'm pretty pretty often, you know, doing test fixture setups and test fixture staredowns. So I'll go ahead and just stub that out as well. And let's just go ahead and call this teardown. And you learn to spell, by the way. And we'll use the test fixture teardown. Well, there you go. I've got my fairly simple class. Let's go ahead and delete the using statements I'm not going to need right now, just because why clutter up my class? And I'm going to save that. Now, in order to actually create the template, all you really have to do is go to File, Export Template. It's built in to Visual Studio for you. I'm going to go ahead and save this because it's going to ask me. And then you get this wizard. Pretty straightforward wizard. We're doing an item template which is basically a class template. I'm going to tell it to base off of this project and I'm just going to progress through. Now I'm basing mine off this class. I could I could include as many classes as I want but we're going to do this off of one. I'm going to click next and which which references do I want to include? Uh, let's do end unit framework, system, and eh, that's about it. What are we going to call this? Uh, end unit test template. Now pay close attention because this is where it's actually going to output the template information for you. And I've actually already opened up my Windows Explorer there. So here's my exported template. So you can see I've already created a few of them. And let's do finish. And there you go. It opens it up for you. Now what it will actually do is create it here as well as pop it into the Visual Studio 2008 templates item templates for you so this is the one I just created today now I want to go ahead and use that so let's actually go ahead and create a new class with my template so go class and let's scroll to the bottom and there's my template so let's just do fake test and you'll notice that sure enough, my fake test class actually completely mimics my test template class. So there you go. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And within a few minutes, I've already created myself a template. And I've saved myself minutes and minutes worth of agony every time I want to create myself a new testing template. Now, what's really kind of cool about this is I can zip, since it's already zipped, I can email this to all my partners on the, you know, all my other developers on the team, and they can have it as well. I can even go in here. And let's say I want to modify something. Let's take that out, drag in here, and we'll actually modify real quick. And I'll do a public void, you know, init. Just, just to prove that I can do something different. We'll save that. We'll pop it back into my zip file. Just drag and drop, and yeah, let's go ahead and replace it. And now let's go ahead and create another class and see, make sure it's got my new, new method I just added onto it. And it does right there. So basically what I told you, showed you is after you've created the template once, you can modify and make changes to it after the fact. You don't have to go through and re-export it. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, another thing I found myself doing all the time is setting up a project to include the references I want, maybe the folder structures I'm looking for, and all that good stuff. So I've gone ahead and... I've created myself project templates and let's go ahead and do that right now. 
I've already created this test project called Template Tester. I've done nothing to it, but let's go ahead and delete these references. And actually, let's go add reference. And I'm going to go ahead and add a reference to, I don't know, the testing framework that I want to use. I'm going to browse to it. I'm going to find my libraries. Let's go end unit. Actually, let's go ahead and add structure map to it, just, just so we can add multiple things to it. I'm going to go ahead and create some folders. I don't know, some folder one. Maybe I always like to have some kind of, you know, a knit class. You know, nothing special, nothing, you know, uh, you know earth shattering here. But I've got myself a pretty straightforward project set up. Now I want to create a template out of it. So let's go ahead and save it. We're going to go back through the exact same wizard. Except for this time, we're going to choose template, project template. We want to base it off of the template tester project. We don't want to do it off our demo cast project. I'm going to click next. And let's just go ahead and give it the same names. Click finish. And again, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Now I've got myself in my exported templates, my template tester zip file. Again, that will then get popped into the project templates. So underneath the templates folder, you have both item templates and project templates, item for item, which are also class files, and then project templates, and there's my new one. As you can see, I have a unit testing project template already created that I've been using now. So let's create a new project and have it be that, you know, reference that template. So I'm going to do C-sharp, and I'm going to scroll the bottom to My Templates, and I'm going to do Template Tester. Let's click OK. And there you go. I've created my folder. It's created my init class. Added end unit. Added structure map. Again, nothing earth-shattering to that. If I wanted to make changes to it, I could do it, do it the same way. I just unzip. You know, make changes to my project file. If I wanted to add files to it, I could do that. Again, nothing major, nothing big. So... What do we learn? Basically, it's very easy, very simple to go ahead and create yourself project and class templates. And trust me, if you find yourself creating the same class or the same project over and over again, create yourself a template. It'll save you time in the long run, not to mention it'll standardize stuff for other developers. So, hope you learned something.